This is about putting in math and a very specific math kind of a math expression in a Google Doc. Uh, we're going to do something that isn't natively very well supported in the Google Doc tools. So we're going to do it in Word and Snippet. But let me just remind you that there are Google tools to insert mathematical expressions. They're not amazing. So you go to Insert and Equation. It gives you a new little toolbar. So if we need a Greek letter like omega, it's right here. If we need like subscripts and superscripts, we do this. It doesn't give you little uh, obvious boxes like a word is going to do, but it does give you slots. And if you, I'm just doing the right arrow to go through the different slots. And then you can get a mathematical expression. So what's, as far as I know, really hard here is to do a multi-line uh, expression like the definition of a piecewise function the way you'd see it in a book. So that's what I'm going to do over Word. It's again not an amazing mathematical typesetting system, but it's uh, pretty available. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go to a new line, and I'm going to do insert equation because I'm going to, at the start of a new line. It puts it in the middle in display math mode that you'll see like in books when when something is in the middle of the page and away from the rest of the text. Um, and I'm going to click in there, and then I want something like uh, f of x equals, and then I want a single big curly brace and places to put various definitions. So the way you do that, you go to bracket in your math tools. If you don't see it, go to equation tools design. It should have a, a thing for that. It's hmm, it's doing some weird display stuff, but uh, I can still see the way down in single brackets curly. Okay, so it's got its curly single bracket. It doesn't it looks small right now, but it's going to get bigger. It's a it's an expandable bracket. So I'm going to put myself in that little dotted box, and I'm going to do matrix, which in some mathematical applications is a really interesting mathematical object. For us, it's just an array. It's just a rectangular array of boxes to put stuff. In typesetting, that's all it is. And so I'm going to put in some expressions. So I could just put in like 2x, and then when is that supposed to be active? Let's say that's when x is, um, let's say, less than or equal to that's going to be in this bar, uh, and let's say minus 2. And then maybe just to demonstrate, you know, something else simple, uh, subscript, superscripts. If I want squared, you have to know in advance that you need, like, subscripts and superscripts and put those boxes in and then fill them. It's not ideal, but it's how word works. And then maybe this is minus 2 less than x less than 3. And then maybe it's just like minus x or something simple for x, and let's say greater than or equal to 3. So the key was that expandable single left curly bracket in the uh, bracket uh, drop down, and then the matrix. Um, and it was matrix with no uh, brackets around it. There's lots of ways to do a matrix with like square brackets or round brackets around them. I picked the one that didn't have any brackets around it, because we've already got that single, square, that single curly bracket. OK, so then. Um, I'm going to click off of that so it doesn't have that weird box around it. I'm going to go, uh, this is outside your view, I think, but I'm doing going to the snipping tool, which if you've never used it in on a PC, is really a great tool. I went to the snipping tool and I'm using that to select this. Um, and then I can copy. Control C, of course, works, but I can just do it on, the, on that. And then I can paste that in here. And then that's really pasting it in as an image. So you can't edit it anymore. you got to have it right. Um, and it's a little awkward that it's putting it in as an image, but that's how these kind of things kind of work. If you don't have a seamlessly integrated good mathematical typesetting system, usually that's what happens. You use some other separate typesetting thing that works better, produce an image, and then import the image. Um, but you can, you know, play with the placement of that, and it's going to look good. Decent type.